think open educational resources are a great way for faculty to ensure that all students have access to the materials they need to be successful in class. I think particularly for our first year experience course, the cost of textbooks is always an issue. Um, and we wanted to make sure that where students are faced with making choices between textbooks for financial reasons, um, that they don't see our course as less important. Um, a lot of our students are first generation students and are from low income households. So this book, like I said before, it provided them the information without the cost, the stress, so that they were able to participate. And because this book and first year experience focuses on academic success, I think it's one of the most important classes. So having this book allows them to have the foundation to graduate um, in a timely manner with honors. So it all goes back to the book along with the class, I think. Well, I would begin by discussing uh, RPG, retention, progression, and graduation rate. And I would remind them that we're all interested in that. And I would also remind them of the studies that have been done, which show that students just, for whatever reason, don't often purchase textbooks. Most definitely, um, having to spend $250 for a book, I mean, that's pretty hard for students, especially for an HBCU. Stu typically students aren't as privileged, so if you don't have to spend that money, it could go towards something else. I first heard about Open Educational Resources uh, through professional listservs and conferences, but I heard specifically about the USG's initiative through our Dean of Library Services. I'm a member of RACL, the region's academic committee on libraries, and we began discussion about open access even back as far as 2000. And uh, then, of course, professional reading, and then through uh, the Affordable Learning Georgia initiative. Um, our library director, Mary Jo, actually had a workshop where she kind of talked to instructors about some of the open access resources. So she gave me a list of books, and this one was one of her favorites. And after I perused it, of course, I loved it. I've heard from faculty who are teaching the first year experience course that they really appreciate knowing that all of their students have access to the book so that they can give assignments, they can set common expectations about having read material or having prepared for class and they feel certain that all students can meet those expectations. This is not the only class where faculty members are trying to include open uh, educational resources. Um, into their classes. It may be as a textbook, it may be a supplementary material, but every time they do that it means our students will have one less thing to concern themselves with, one less expense, and they're going to graduate on time.